and is transitioning the auto sector right out of our country. The blame game playing out in question period today over impending job cuts at General Motors' Oshawa plant, with federal conservative leader Andrew Scheer pointing the finger at liberal policies. Now, workers in Oshawa are fighting to keep their jobs, Mr. Speaker. The least that this Prime Minister can do is help them in that fight. Will he repeal the carbon tax so that Canadian auto sector jobs can stay right here in Canada. Our hearts go out to the workers in Oshawa uh, in terms of uh, understanding that the best way to secure jobs for the future is to take genuine action on climate change and aid our economies uh, and our, our families uh, to support and to thrive through the transition to a low, lower carbon economy. That is what we are doing. But in GM's announcement on Monday that some 14,000 jobs will be slashed at five of the automakers' plants in Canada and the U.S. by the end of next year, the company explained its shifting business plan, not government policy, was behind the decision, saying it's halting production of some of its poor-selling models to focus more on autonomous and electric vehicles. We understand there's a transformation in the industry, but we also know that they can build all of these vehicles in Canada. Jerry Diaz, the president of Unifor, Canada's largest private sector union, bringing his fight to save GM jobs to Washington, where he met with his U.S. counterpart, the head of America's United Auto Workers. It's time now that Canada and the United States joined together. We drew a line in the sand and we said to General Motors, OK, enough is enough. You're going to have to reverse this decision or we're going to have to take collective action as two nations against General Motors. Before leaving for Washington, Diaz called for tariffs to be slapped on imports of GM vehicles made in Mexico. General Motors with the ink not even being dry in the new NAFTA, knowing that they have years before the new one is going to be implemented, in my opinion, just showed the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Canada their middle finger. The Prime Minister's office shared details of a call yesterday between Justin Trudeau and Donald Trump, saying both leaders expressed disappointment with GM's decision to close plants. Trump yesterday tweeted a threat to cut all GM subsidies, comments that sent GM stock tumbling. But according to reports, including from CNN, the automaker is not aware of any significant U.S. federal subsidies the company is receiving beyond an available tax credit that goes to the customer. Something to watch for. Justin Trudeau, he is headed to Argentina tonight for the G20 summit. On the sidelines there, the new NAFTA deal, or USMCA, could be signed. Lots going on. Now, will there be friction over the General Motors job cuts, not to mention tariffs on steel and aluminum.